Oh my God. Yo, what's up? It's Loose Cannon 48. Figured I'd get a little bit done today. A little something, something. See that? She cleaned out, y'all. Try to get some of the stuff taken care of today. You know, a lot of people been uh making comments about how junky it was and stuff like that. Oh, man. Reason being and all of this stuff back here. Because, um, I was, uh, t going to school for welding, so. And I, I do work on my own cars and other people's cars, so. Here's a piece of metal right here, aluminum. Used for TIG welding. But, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and break this part down. Y'all know I don't do no editing, as of now anyway. But um, the rack I'm about to show you, y'all seen it in the back of the van before with the, the T5s. Anyway, I designed it some time ago when I was in welding class. Uh, eliminated the whole bed back here so I could put speakers. The rack will be functional. Um, allow me both to hold batteries, hold the speakers, and uh, in the rear part back here still hold some tools like the jack for the vehicle and stuff like that. Maybe a small toolbox, you know if something goes wrong, something minor. But also when I designed it, I put I made the bottom exactly the same distance uh that the the frame of the seat was. See right here? The bracket to hold it down. So uh some of you wondering once I get all this weight in here, how I'm gonna stop it from moving, well there were your seat brackets right there. It's four of them. Same distance as the seat was, so this here is going to go over it like it was with the seat. And I'll tighten it down. But I'm also getting that out of here because that's also where my ground is. Up underneath the van and in this vehicle, you have to go underneath the wheel well and access these bolts. So, see that? That terminal's coming off. That's going underneath the hood. You know, just get a little bit clean out kind of situated. I have so much room in here, and I'm really thinking about doing the interior myself. But anyway, we're going to go for it. Show you what we got here. That's the reason why I had house speakers in there also. It's because uh, when I took out the speakers, I well, the bed, I eliminated the speakers. So I put something in there in its place where I could also be able to hear. But that's what I came up with right there. Me and a classmate of mine built it in class, you know. So that's what I came up with. I so I designed this myself. I had to do it on paper before I could do it. As if with everything else I was taught in building also. Design first and then work later. All right? See right there, just a little bit. I'm trying to get in there, but for the most part, the weld is good. It's good right there. All right? So it's uh should be pretty strong. I will be uh putting these speakers back in here just for a short time until uh I finish uh taking care of my sound stage. These tweeters will be staying. I'm gonna just remove the the actual driver off of it and I'll replace it with something a little bit better once I find out uh, exactly what kind of highs that I want. Something that's not too harsh. Very clear, so stay tuned for that. But I'll be about to get this painted up. I reckon there ain't too much more I can do to it. Get it painted up. So I could uh, just have that out the way. And hopefully next week we're going to get it going in the van a little bit. What we're trying to work for. Get it in there. All right. Loose Cannon 48 siding out. And look at the horses, man. They just grazing and everything. Got a little bit. Look at them. All right, y'all. Holla. Farm truck coming by. Farm truck coming by. Oh, uh, see that? The black man, he want to look at the camera, y'all. He always wave now. Now he want to wave at me, huh? Why black people so scared of, of cameras, boy? <laughs> Thank you, Charles Port. Hello. <laughs>